Hi. I am making this video for any Jehovah's Witness or family of Jehovah's Witnesses that have been affected or that are currently dealing with shunning um, through disfellowshipping because someone in their family is gay. This story that I'm telling is about my brother, Stephen. Stephen, Stephen and I were from embassy, raised one of Chova's witnesses. We, it was our whole life. One of our family members is Stephen Lett. He is one of um, Jehovah's Witnesses governing body members. Who will come back, who will have to abandon their former way of life. I was thinking, as an example, a homosexual. Now this former homosexual comes back in the resurrection and he really thought and he, he was taught and he came to believe that God accepted him with that lifestyle. But now he's going to learn about Jehovah's moral standards. And he's going to learn that Jehovah will not lower his standard to accommodate us. We have to come up to Jehovah's standard. Will he change? Will he adjust? It'll be up to him. Stephen got baptized when he was about 18. A few years after he was baptized, he came out. Now, anyone that is one of Chova's witnesses know that when you're gay, that is an unacceptable life and um, rejected by Jehovah. So this was a very difficult thing for Stephen to have to deal with. So much so that he had this choice to make. He had a choice to either live true to himself and be who he was or live a lie and stay one of Chova's witnesses. The two options come with great consequences. You know, if he lives his life as who he is, then he is going to be disfellowshipped and thus shunned um, from his family, including myself at the time. And to understand how difficult of a decision that this was, is to really understand Stephen. He wasn't ashamed of who he was, but he was making a decision to potentially lose his entire family and all of his friends that he grew up knowing. And I can't imagine any person would take that decision lightly. And Stephen didn't. It weighed heavy on Stephen, so much so that his life became very dark for a period of time. He attempted multiple times trying to kill himself not long after he came out. He then, after that, got disfellowshipped. Once he was disfellowshipped, after a period of time, he seemed to start doing better. He would, made a life for himself um, and lived that life for many years. But unfortunately, January of 2020, Stephen took his own life because the pain and loss became, I think, a little too much. Um, and I don't think he was able to deal with that anymore. I'm telling the story, as I said at the beginning, because I'm hoping to reach people. Anyone that has, is currently dealing with this, anyone that knows of someone dealing with this, 
please do not take this lightly. Please put thought into shunning. This goes beyond loving discipline and is cruelty, especially when it ends up with someone dying. I want people to understand that whoever, if you're going through this currently or have, that they're, that you're not alone. I wish Stephen could have felt that and seen that. I want to develop a community that shows that they're not alone. I want to address why I'm doing this, why I'm making this video. It is not out of revenge. I am not mad at anyone. I love my family dearly and my friends, and I know this will affect you, but support, there needs to be support for people that are going through this because the solution is not suicide. I hope that if I can reach one person that can see through the other side of this and see that there is support out there for them and it saves a life, then the potential of what I'm losing, that is worth it to save a life. 